Hi, hello and welcome back to our channel Excel by Software Testing where you will learn in easy simple way. So our today's topic is BTD, Behavioral Test Development. Let's see what it is, how to implement it. So let's get started. What is BDD? BDD means Behavioral Test Development is a software development methodology that emphasizes collaboration and communication between two different stakeholders in software development process, including developers, testers, business analysts. BDD is based on the principles of test-driven development and domain-driven design. In BDD, the behavior of the software system is defined in terms of executable scenarios that describe the expected outcomes and interaction of the system with its environment. These scenarios are written in the format that it is easily understandable by all the stakeholders such as given, when, then format. BDD aims that to ensure that the software development process is driven by the desired behavior of the system rather than just the implementation details. By focusing on the behavior, BDD helps to ensure that the software meets the requirement and expectation of the business that it is delivered in a timely, effective manner. Why BDD? There are several benefits of using BDD as a software development methodology. Here are some of the following main reasons why organizations choose and adopt the BDD. First of all, improved collaboration. BDD promotes the collaboration and communication between different stakeholders such as developers, testers and BA. This helps to ensure that everyone has a clear understanding and idea of the requirements and the expectations of the software system. Better alignment with the business goals. By focusing on the behavior of the system, BDD helps to ensure that the software meets the business goals and objectives. This can help to improve the customer satisfaction and drive the business values. Earlier detection of defects. BDD emphasizes testing and validation at every stage of the development process, which can help to detect uh, uh, the issues earlier in the process. This can help to reduce the cost and the time required for the defect remediation. More efficient development. BDD promotes a trace-driven development approach to development, which can help to ensure that code is written efficiently and with the high quality. This can reduce the need for rework and speed up the overall development process. When to implement this BDD? BDD can be used in a wide range of software development projects, but it is particularly well suited for the projects where there are complex requirements or where collaboration between different stakeholders is very critical. So here are some scenarios where BDD may be particularly beneficial. Projects with a complex requirement. BDD can help to ensure that all the stakeholders have clear understanding of the requirements for the software system. And it can help to identify and manage the complexity more effectively. Project with a high degree of collaboration. BDD can help to promote collaboration between different stakeholders such as developers, testers, BAs which can be particularly important in the project where communication is critical. Agile development projects. BDD is well suited to agile development methodologies where there is a focus on delivering working software in short iteration. BDD can help to ensure that requirements are clearly defined and tested at each stage of the development process. Projects with a high degree of automation. BDD encourages the use of automated testing frameworks which can help to speed up the testing process and reduce the risk of human errors. Here are some disadvantages of BDD. High overhead. BDD can require significant upfront investment in time and resource to create and maintain the necessity documents and automated tests. Limited tool support. There are relatively few tools available for BDD compared to other development methodologies, which can make it difficult to implement BDD in some environments. Complexity. The natural language specification used in BDD can sometimes be complex and difficult to understand, especially for non-technical stakeholders. Cost. Because of the additional document and testing is required in BDD, BDD can be more expensive than any other development methodology. Dependencies on external systems. BDD relies heavily on external systems such as testing frameworks and automated tools, which can be source of complexity and additional maintenance. Misunderstanding of requirements. While BDD aims to address the problem of 
poorly defined requirements by specifying them in natural language it can be also be a subject of interpretation and misunderstanding leading to in- incomplete or incorrect implementations how to implement this bdd in your project define the business requirement start by defining the business requirement to for the software system this should involve the collaboration between different stakeholders such as business analyst product owner and developers use clear and concise language to describe the desired behavior of the system write the scenarios write executable scenarios that describe the behavior of the system this scenario should be written in language that is easily understandable by all the stakeholders such as given when then format Each scenario should describe a specific behavior of the system and include the set of inputs that are expected outputs. Automate the test. Use BDD testing framework such as Cucumber or Behave to automate the scenario. This involves writing code that maps the scenario step to actual code that implements the desired behavior of the system. Run the test. run the automated test to ensure that the system behaves as expected use of test results to identify defects and issues that need to be addressed refine the scenarios refine the scenarios as needed to ensure that they are accurately reflect the desired behavior of the system this may involves updating the scenarios to the reflect changes in the business requirement or reflect new insights gained during the development I repeat this process continue to refine the scenarios and automate test as needed throughout the development process use the test to ensure that the system continues to behave as expected as new features are added to changes are made here are some bdd tools which you can use to implement your bdd test we will be learning how to implement bdd in our next video by using cucumber We will be seeing how to write the PDD test cases and how to implement in Cucumber in our next video. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We post videos on every Tuesday and Friday. If you have any queries please write down to us in comment section. Until then happy testing. Bye bye.